Hey there, this is Gene Arnold. Just wanted to do a quick little video update on something that I'm working on over here. Doing some uh, some web service work with uh, Jasper Report Server, and I uh, was trying to figure out what was going on. Got some help from some great people, and they uh, they straightened some things out for me, so I have a better idea of how things work. So the things I'm I'm going to put together a, a much much more organized example of this with some nice you know some nice examples and some documentation and all those kind of cool things and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, figure I'd get something up there quick and let you know what's up. The examples are going to be all based around some common tasks that I want to do, like creating users or updating users, folders, and moving stuff around and things like that. And honestly, I was kind of having a bugger of a time figuring it out. And what I really didn't, what I didn't realize is that um, and I guess, you know, hey, if you read the directions, <laughs> it would have been worked better. Um, when you're doing this this web service work, everything's really based on these um, these descriptors, okay? So when you look at these these uh, resource descriptors, when you want to when you want to do anything, you have to send up a a, a descriptor, resource descriptor. Um, based on what you want to do. Now, that's not for everything, but for some of the things that I wanted to work on. So let me, let me just get to something here real quick to give you an idea. I don't, don't mean to get you sick over here, but let's go over here and say, uh, where's the one for um, my folders? There you go, folder. So I wanted to create a folder. Okay, it shouldn't be that big a deal. It actually really isn't. When you want to create a folder, you need to pass up a descriptor to describe the folder you want to create. You know, big surprise. You can do it in JSON or XML. And this has to be sent up in the body of your call. Okay, not just that. If you go to creating a resource, in this case, I'm going to do post. You also have to put your content type describing the type of um, descriptor you're sending up. So notice JSON or XML. So this is going to be in the content type explaining what the content's going to be in the body and the body content is going to have see resource type? Well that's going to actually be dot folder because I want to do a folder change. And uh, the upload is going to be in one of these formats. So let's let's actually take a look at one of these. If we go over here and take a look at uh, file open request here's one to create a folder. Alright, well if you check this out, alright, let me get this out of the way, and make it a little easier and whatnot. Okay, if you take a look at this here, um, so first of all, I'm, I'm doing basic off. Okay? Fine. Here's the URL I'm going to. Alright, I'm using the resources collection of, of properties and things that I want to monkey around with up there. And I want to create this folder called gene. It's going to be right off the root, right after the organization's uh, folder you know, on, on, on the repo. Uh, remember, I'm logging as Jasper Admin, okay? So I'm not going to the root. I'm going to the root of the organization that I'm working in. Now, if you take a look at a parameter here, create folders true, what that just means is that any of the, the, the parent folders that should have been there to get to this. Now I'm going right off the root. But if there were parent folders that were going to get me into this that didn't exist, this would say true. It would make those. I didn't realize that. I thought this was going to check whether or not the folder I want to create exists. It doesn't. It's checking that the path to the folder I want to create exists. If it doesn't, it'll create the path. And if this is false, then it will, then it won't. Okay? The body, you set the content type to, remember I said, a folder plus XML, because I'm setting it up as XML, and here it is. Now, also from what I'm reading, um, I don't think you need to send up this URI. From what I read with, with post, this actually doesn't have to be in there. It bases it all off of this up here, the path here. And then you're going to, the label is the name of the folder. And the description is what's inside of it. And then you've got version and stuff like that. I'm going to show you a, an example of this in .NET in just a moment. The other one that I have... Oh, okay. Actually, this is also being done as a post. 
Now, if I open up the other one I have, this one updates a folder. If updates go to the same place with the same the same uh, URL, and, and there's your ID. It's going to be a put. All right, and with the put, you go here to body, same content type. Notice here, there's no URL in here. That's why I'm pretty sure you don't have the URL in here for the for the post. No URL because it, it's coming from here. And I want to, um, this is the actual ID of the object that I want to monkey around with up there. This is the ID, the unique identifier of it. It's called Gene. And I want to change the label of Gene to me. And I want the description to say, pick of me. And you have to make sure you have an updated version number of it. If you have the same version that's already there, it's actually going to say conflict. I didn't know. I mean, what's this? And I did a little research. Conflict is because it's a version conflict. So if you take a look at this me one here, if I right click and go to properties, see? Public gene, public gene. All right, description, pick of me, and me. The reason why I did the, the, the pick of me thing is, see how I have a, an actual JPEG of this in here? Well, let me go. Log back in. See how I have the JPEG of me in there? Um, I was concerned with what would happen with items inside of a item that I wanted to change. Because it basically says it just redoes this, this whole thing again. And I wasn't sure if it was gonna, you know, if it was gonna get ticked off, because we have another Another function that we can send up called patch, where you can specifically say what individual items you want to change inside of a um, an item. With the with the put, I'm pretty sure you have to you know you have to set everything again. Okay, it's like a whole overwrite. Anyway, I'm doing all this so I can build some .NET examples for people to learn from, including myself. So here, let's go and take a look at one. So inside of this example over here, let me go and log out and I'll log back in again and go back to the repository. Okay, so if we take a look at the public folder. All right, right now the public folder doesn't really have anything in it except well, some stuff that I'm playing with. If I start this baby up, okay, and I, I put this right here next to it. What I did was I actually added a, a method in here that checks to see if this exists. If it does exist, it's going to say folder already exists and it won't create it. If it doesn't exist, it's going to create it. So watch this. Let's click on create folder. All right. It says created. Now if we do a little refresh over here, we're going to see cat. All right. And I'm going to right click and go to properties and you're going to see new cat folder, new cat folder. Cool, but now watch what happens when I click on create again. Folder exists because it's there, <laughs> all right? Now, if I right click and I go delete, okay, again, you know, just, you know, it's gone. Create, created, and, and there's cat again, okay? So let's stop this. I'm not going to go crazy into the code right now, but I just want to show you that I have one method that creates my instance of uh, my session all right it's again basic auth uh, i'm just using basic auth because honestly you know when you guys use this for your embedded examples you might be going against a token for, it could be so many different things that this is almost irrelevant um well i, well, I don't want to say it's irrelevant it's always going to vary that's a better thing i should be saying it's always going to vary so you're going to auth somehow i'm using basic auth just so i can get that done and then first, when you, so when you click on the button, you do a check to see if it's there. If it returns OK, OK means it did find it there. Then I, I put the little folder exists in there. Else, so it means it didn't find it, it's going to create this. Now, look, this is not supposed to be the most elegant programming in the world, because if it was, it wouldn't be coming from me. I'm an average guy just doing some basic examples to learn. So I can show you some folks um, how this works. Uh, I'm, there are, I'm sure, much cleaner ways of making this happen. But at least you get the idea that if you take a look at the calls, you'll see, and see, I did get rid of the URI in this example. It works fine. Um, you'll see what's going on. You know, here, Here's my REST call. I get my client. All right, then... I send my request, I, I build my request, I want to do post, that's where I'm going, and there's the path. 
I build my resource descriptor. I send my resource descriptor up with the encoding and the content type, and I get a result back. Now, the fact that I did dot result was a way for me to make this, which would normally normally be asynchronous, a synchronous call. Now, I'm doing this in a Windows form example. If I used a straight synch asynchronous call, then I'd have to then write a threading I have to do threading to get the answer back and decide, I'm like, you know, I'm not going to go that far with this because I'm just trying to make the calls work. And maybe I'll throw some threading in there later on if I want to make something a little bit more legit. But it wouldn't change learning how to do web service calls. So what am I going to write? I'm going to write, like I said, how to create folders, well, how to check for resources. Uh, specifically, I, I want to do this around folders and things like that so I can kind of make a nice little ASP.NET embedded example. But you're going to see examples on how to find folder or you know, resources, create folders, uh, users, learn about users, um, uh, take a report that is in one resource and move it to another resource, things like that. And um, you know, delete a resource, that kind of stuff. So I'll, I'll take a look at all of those. Um, I might even try to make a nice little library so that you can just use the library to make the calls. I won't be getting as far into this as like making reports and uploading reports or redefining your domains and things like that. I'm just trying to write a nice little array of tools to use in, you know, in, 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 in concert with visualize.js so you can use visualize to do the presentation and then you can use uh, you well, you want to use REST to do some of the administrative work. Okay, so that was really high level. Like I said, I'll have this cleaned up more and some better examples, and I can go through each example in more detail. But I thought it wouldn't hurt to actually put something up um, and and get a blog note there. Okay, that's it. Thank you.